H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. That is store locator folder. So you can see here we created the Verizon wireless folder and then Verizon wireless main page test case at a basic level. Next thing is we need to create the Verizon wireless store locator folder. Can you tell me participants how do I create a new folder now? Which button should I click to create a new folder? I want to create a new folder under this Verizon wireless folder. Which button should I click? Again the same first button, first new folder button. And then I write here store locator. So the store locator folder is created under the Verizon wireless folder. What is the next step? We need to create store locator link test case at a medium level. Store locator test case. Write the test case name here. Store locator link. Click on the OK button. What is the level? It is medium because this is an intermediate step. It is not yet reviewed. Priority is chosen based on the release date. And click on the OK button. Now again fill out the similar details here. First write the description. Can you tell me what is the description for the store locator link? See it is same like your test case document that we did in the excel sheet. Instead of using the excel this time we are using the quality center. Other than that the content is basically the same. So here we write test store locator link. Design steps. Click on the new step button. Write the step name here, store locator link, write the precondition, write the test steps and then the test data. So can you tell me what is the precondition, test step, test data and expected result? What is the precondition, test step, test data and expected result for the store locator link? You can refer to your test case document that we had prepared in the Excel sheet previously. Precondition is Verizon Wireless main page test step click on store locator link test data is blank expected result is the store locator page opens visit code text box Choose state list box and find stores button. Then click on the OK button. The test step is created. You can drag this to get the complete view. The next one is the test case for the store locator. 
wherein we create the different steps like zip code valid, invalid, two state and both of them blank. So there's a store locator. Store locator, test case name. Level is advanced because we are doing the detailed testing. Not reviewed. Priorities chosen based on the release date. Click on the OK button. Details. Test. Store locator. Design steps. New step button. Zip code valid. Precondition. Test step. And test data. Store locator link. Test step. Enter valid zip code. Click on the find stores button. Test data. Zip code. What is the expected result? The store locator details are displayed with address, work hours, featured services and workshop link. And then click on the OK button. So this is zip code valid. We create the zip code invalid also here itself. I will just copy this content so that I can use it to create the other test cases over here. new step button in the same test case and this is zip code invalid enter invalid zip code xyz the store details are not displayed and all fields are reset. Then click on the OK button. This is zip code invalid. Then again, new step button. Choose state. Copy the description. Instead of entering invalid zip code I mentioned here, select state from to state list box. To state we enter the state. The store details are displayed. with address, work hours, featured services and workshop link. What is the last one? We created zip code valid, invalid, to state. What is the last one? The zip code and choose state both blank. Zip code and choose state blank. 
since both of them are blank store details are not displayed and click on the okay button this is how we can create the test step i will drag this to get the complete view of the test case there's a scroll bar here which you can use this is how the test cases are created i will repeat all the steps from the beginning i'll give you a quick recap all of you please look at my screen and there is no need to again save it separately the moment you click on the okay button whatever you have entered it will automatically get saved so i will give you the quick recap of the steps all of you please observe my screen first of all as usual you open the quality center and then there's a test plan module here give one second i'll just filter it so that um, you don't have to view all of them one moment there are so many different folders right you might get confused i'll just modify it here okay designer priya h2k because this is a username with which i have logged in so do you see only the test cases that i have created with my name you could see here you could apply the filter and then you can see only the work that you have done so first of all make sure that you go to the test plan module select the subject then click on the new folder button this is a first step first of all create a new folder then the new folder name is priya h2k and under priya h2k means this is my folder you can create the folder with your own name so that you can identify it and under the priya folder i created my project folder that is verizon wireless then the next step is to create a new test case here by clicking on this second button then we have the details under the details we write the description then there are design steps this is the fourth step and then we have the new step under this one so third step is write the description for all the test cases and step number 4 is to create the new step under the design step once you click on the new step button this kind of window opens which i have already done here this is a new step where you enter the step name pre condition test step test data expected result and click on the okay button so these are the different steps that are to be followed to create the test cases in the quality center now i have demonstrated all the steps to you in the quality center 10.0 even in the 9.0 participants there is absolutely no change at all even in 9.0 you got to click on the test plan module you will have the subject folder available there is a new folder button also existing but instead of creating a folder with your name you can directly create the 
project folder because anyways it is your own server that you are using the quality center server there is no way that you can get confused so you can directly create the project folder instead of creating the folder with your name and then the remaining steps are similar you will find the same new test case button new step button details everything is same no change at all i made you the presenter yes i am going to unmute you you can share your screen and ask all of your questions yes. yeah i did uh, so my question is uh, yesterday i did all the steps what you said uh, for creating the new folder but what happened in my case is after you in the last step you said we have to bring all the steps under the store locator uh, so in that step uh, in which you told uh, cut and paste so i cut and paste all the things inside the store locator but after that step nothing is visible in my folder so exactly what happened i don't know and when i am filtering actually my username is alex and i created a folder with my name yashasvi1 so what is happening when i am filtering i can see my folder in the alex uh, under my username but uh, uh, if i if i am filtering with my name yashasvi1 um nothing is visible on the screen okay can you please show me a quality center yes I think it's a server problem. I have to restart my system. That's why it's not opening. So just give me some minutes, and I'll again uh, pop up. Um, I'll ping you. In the Ashwini, I think it is already open in the bottom. You can see it on the task bar. Try to open from there. Hmm. Oh, one second. Yeah, here. Do you see? It is already available on your task bar in the bottom, in your uh, virtual box. This one. Yes, in the VMware, click on it. And oh, I clicked it. That's that's what I did. But this page is only opening after click. Okay, just a second. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Already open. Yeah. So can I go to requirements now? Yes, please go to the requirements. This one. Yes. And you had created it with the uh, with your name. One. Many. What was the name? What name did you use? Yes, Yashasvi one, Yashasvi and one. One is numeric. Y e s h a s v i and one. Okay, and what is the username that you had used? It is only Alex or Alex Q C or something like that. It's only Alex. Only Alex. Fine. Now, what you do is, do you see there are some folders like there is Renia and there is a plus sign. Please click on that. Which one? This one. Yes, please click on that plus sign. Yeah. Okay, and then yeah, just go on clicking on the plus sign wherever you find it. Maybe it has got created um, under some different folder. Click on all the plus sign. Okay. You see. And then you see there in the bottom, um, Siri H two K. Click there. So this Yash is not your folder. This is not yours. No. No, no, this is not my folder. Okay. Fine. Can you please scroll to the top, completely top? Yeah. You could use the arrow keys from your keyboard. Yeah. Yes. Check here. There is another Alex. Okay. There are so many of them. That is created by. Yeah. Okay. You. Mm -hmm. One more thing. Um. Yeah. Just check. Otherwise, I will tell you one more thing that you can try. Mm -hmm. Go to the filter and yeah. delete the filter. Delete this. Delete this. Do you mm -hmm. see the view order? 
click on that view order tab on the top yeah. yes sure. and then select name here sorry author on the top there is author yes yeah. uh, uh -huh. you can select the name select the name we'll sort it on name so that um, yeah uh, i clicked author after that no leave it click on the name there's a name uh, column oh, yeah yeah yeah, click on the name column. Click on the arrow mark, the first arrow mark button in the middle. Not that one, the single arrow mark in the middle. Yes, the first one. This one? In the middle. In the middle, there are arrow marks. Click on that button. This is the middle. Yeah. Now click on the OK button. Then scroll completely down. Now it is arranged in the alphabetical order on the name column. So if you have created okay. a name uh, folder, it should appear at the last. Y appears at the last. Yes. Yeah, it's there. This is the one. This is the one? Okay. Yeah. All right, so you can use. And one more second, let me. Ha, okay, yeah, all the fields are getting open. Yeah. Please tell me your next. So, so what I did was. Hello. Hello. Yeah, go ahead, please. Ask your question. Yeah. So what exactly I did wrong? Why cannot I find my name directly under the Alex uh, username Alex? Um. I'm... Or if I type yes, yes, we want directly into the filter. Huh, I'm not sure um, what was the error, but uh, here, do you see you have created the zip code and choose state zip code valid? These both yeah. you cut it and then paste it under the store locator. They should come under the store locator. Yeah, the, the that is what I'm. Uh, I told you like uh, when I cut and paste it, uh, the first one zip code invalid. You can see it's in the under the store locator. When I did this step, cut and paste, um, this all went invisible for my screen, and now I'm seeing it. No, nothing will happen. You you do it again. Right click on it. Okay. Cut it. Mm -hmm. Use the store locator main requirement. Right click and paste. Click on yes button. Yes. See everything is fine. Again the same thing. Okay. For valid and choose state. Cut this and paste it under store locator. The input fields also cut and paste it under the store locator. Rest of the things are fine. Do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Let me go to the next participants. Next participant is Shruti. I'll make you the presenter, Shruti. You can share your screen and ask your questions. And all the other participants, as usual, make note of your questions. I will again take up your questions in the next session or we will have the extra session conducted for your quality center question and answers. Shruti, I've made you the presenter. Okay. Um... My question was, I was practicing a uh, Wells Fargo example for RTM and QC, um, and I'm not able to see that. Um, um, hold on. Please open your quality so here, uh, so here um, I did Gmail, Verizon, um, but then I was trying to do Wells Fargo, but I don't see it anywhere here. I did it twice, and both the time I didn't save. Try to click on the plus button for the Mercury Tools application. And what about the Gmail login? Click there. Click on the plus sign. All the plus. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. So, I think it got done is, while you're creating the Wells Fargo Internet Banking, you should have selected the first new requirement button. Whenever you want to create a new requirement in this um, oh. 9.0, Make sure that you click on that new requirement okay. button. And for all the child okay. requirements, make sure that you select the main requirement properly and then click on the child requirement button. Otherwise, your requirements will get misplaced like this. 
So now can I uh, right click and delete it from this? Not required. I will tell you what to do. Right click on it. Okay. From well okay. to internet banking. Cut. Okay. okay. Select Gmail login and right click. What is it? I didn't I didn't get you. Gmail login. Click on Gmail login. Okay. And right click on it. Okay. Paste as a sibling. Click on yes button. Oh, okay. Okay, paste as a sibling means it will paste at the same level. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay. And then um, from today's session, I had a question regarding um, what is the difference between stored locator link um, um, test case and stored locator test case? And why they have different phases like medium and advanced and all those kind of things. Okay, so your first question, why store locator link and store locator separately? Do you remember we had yeah. the test cases in the Excel sheet? We had created the variety yes. valid main page, store locator link, zip code valid, zip code invalid, and so on. We have created all of them as right. test cases. Correct. So similarly, here also we created the store locator link. But all the other test cases like zip code valid, invalid, and so on, we have created under the store locator test case itself because all of them are considered as steps. Mean that is how it's organized in the quality center. Okay. We have um, and then um, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and then what is the difference between level and priority when creating test case? Um, and how will we know what level should be attached to each test case exam and test folder, like basic, medium, and advanced? The level in the sense it is based on the sequence of the test cases that we create. Now, for example, all initial steps like opening the main page, clicking on the store locator link, these are at the mm -hmm. basic level. And whenever okay. we are testing any functionality in detail, for example, store locator uh -huh tested by entering the different combinations of the data in the zip code valid and choose state. So that is at the advanced okay. level. And okay. the intermediate steps, you can put it at the medium level. You can do it approximately. There is no particular rule. Okay. You can just write them approximately. And then okay. the priority is right. based on the release date. If the client wants okay. a certain set of requirements to be released immediately in the next version of the software release, we need to prioritize uh -huh. them and we have to test them. Okay, so the priority oh, okay. is decided based on how soon the client wants those requirements to be available. Okay, all right. I think that was all my question. <laughs> all right. So now the other participants, please make note of your questions. We will take up the questions in the next class. So participants, this was a session on the quality center. In this session, we have discussed the second step that is to create the test cases using the Verizon Wireless Store Locator. So we'll close the session participants. All of you, please go through the recordings and practice all these steps. And in the next session, I will show you how to implement the further steps in the quality center. And also, we'll have a look at your questions as much as possible. Thanks, everybody, and good night.